Present day. <laughs> Present time. <laughs> All right, let's talk about something that's been quietly killing Linux streaming workflows. And nobody wants to say anything about it. Well, it's not actually killing it. This is more of like an over-exaggeration, I would say. But OBS Studio is pretty much being held back by KDE and Wayland. And this isn't just one of those occasions where you should say, just go use the X11. This is a full breakdown why OBS can't move forward properly on modern Linux desktop with what's causing it and what happens if things don't change. Spoiler, OBS eventually is going to say, we're done waiting. And when that happens, you're going to get a real messy situation with NKDE Wayland. OBS isn't just a screen recorder. It's a full production studio and it's supposed to let you do things like capture windows and games smoothly, unlock and reattach UI panels like chat audio mixers or scene editors, set up overlays, manage sources, capture audio re re reliably, and code video using GPUs like MVAC and other encoders, and do all this while streaming real time without frame drops or glitches. To pull this off, OBS needs low-level system access. Things like Windows IDs, global Windows list, geometry info, screen buffer access, hotkeys that work no matter what the window is focused on. On X11, OBS has all of that, but Wayland? Well, good luck. Now... Wayland, on the other hand, Wayland was made with a goal in mind, security and handboxing. You know, security reasons. And I get it. Yeah, I enjoy security, don't get me wrong. I'm not I'm not saying apps should go show I'm not saying apps should run wild and spy on everything, but there has to be a balance between security and usability. If your system is so locked down that streamers and creators can't do basic stuff, then something it's starting to become obvious that something it's broken. So here are a few things that Wayland restricts. OBS can't freely list or hook into other app in Windows. You can't dock panels properly, can't set global hotkeys cleanly, needs, and needs portal and pipewire to capture audio. And even, even that, it breaks, it breaks depending on your compositor. Wayland says, hey, we won't let apps know what's happening outside of the sandbox, but OBS has to know. OBS needs to know this, or it becomes, or or it becomes unless for advanced workflows, that's when it starts to become an issue. Think about it like this: It's like locking a carpenter in a garage, and then wondering why they can't build furniture. And yes, there is sort of some solutions solutions to this, but the solutions feel like a little bit of a hack. They feel like it's just everything is just duct taped together to make it work around. And I feel like this is really like holding OBS back in a lot of areas. And trust me, it's not like they don't want to put in the work. They want to, but they're being held back. OBS has mentioned multiple times that they want to move forward. But the custom being held back and not being not providing them with tools or work around, it's what I think it's starting to really bother OBS. Now, let's talk about KDE Plasma. Don't you think I forgot about you, KDE? So, KDE looks great. I used to recommend it. I used to recommend it, like, all the time. But right now, KDE is falling behind, especially on Wayland. So, Quinn, the KDE window manager, is missing important protocol protocols that OBS needs it to support it. While GNOME and Hyperland are here adopting SDG activation, SDG pop-up, layer share, proper pipe wire of both video and audio session management, KDE is still, it, KDE is still half implementing video and audio session management. For example, OBS docs windows don't behave right if they break all the time. Window capture on KDE Wayland is buggy and it feels kind of blank um, sometimes and don't get me started on audio capture the audio capture breaks under certain setups you can't rely on global hotkeys so that's like 
pretty much not existent unless you want to do all these extra steps to get it to work. And basic UI behavior for docs dragging and snapping is still broken. You report it, and Katie says, yeah, we know. It's on the roadmap. We know this has been a bug for like two years. Cool, but streamers need to... <laughs> streamers need it now. Not in 2026. And they... I hate some of this response. Like, I know there's, like, certain box with the big mouse. And I've mentioned this to KD over and over. And every time they give me a stupid response, like, oh, lock in, lock out, and lock in back again. I'm like, <laughs> what? Excuse me? Now, here's the scary part. Well, not really. I'm just being a drama queen. Um, OBS doesn't need KD or Wayland. It runs on Mac OS, it runs on Windows, it runs fine on GNOME and Hyperland. Eventually, OBS will drop an update that requires full protocol support for this new features. And if your desktop environment is not isn't ready, well, too bad. They're moving forward. You'll open OBS on KD and see broken docs, no window capture, audio issues, and features grayed out and all size. And users will blame OBS, but OBS will say, nope, that's a that's KD. Nope. Didn't keep up. KD didn't keep up. That's not our problem. So we've seen this before. Linus Tavo wrote the Fedora like last year. And he did it publicly when they broke user space and tried to blame the kernel of Fedora. And once he did that. They fixed their mess real fucking fast after that. So, if KD doesn't act now, it'll be, it'll be playing cleanup after OVS moves on. This isn't a rant without a solution. Here's what KD and Wayland needs to do. KD, let's start with you first. Fully implement XDG activation, XDG pop-up, view porter, and layer shell. Fix power section management and prioritize window dock behavior and OBS compatibility. Stop deflecting block reports and treat the content creation tool as a priority. And as for Wayland, loosen up restrictions responsibly. It's not going to kill you. Expose essential protocols needed by pro tools like OBS. Discord, nah, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that one. But maybe spectacle. Work with real users, not just security theorists. I get it. They want to protect people, but there has to be a balance. And as for OBS, keep doing what you're doing. Keep cooking. But eventually, it might help to publicize and say, hey, if you want OBS to work, use GNOME or Hyperline until KDE fixes its Wayland stack. I love Linux, I love KDE, I love security, but I also like things to work. OBS is, OBS is ready to move forward, and if KDE and Wayland don't catch up, they're going to be left, left behind. And it won't be OBS that gets blamed on all this. It'll be KDE users who open OBS and go, what the hell isn't it working? And that's the point. OBS will say, well, we warn you guys. As always... If you guys enjoy my little rant and my little video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time. And tell me, what do you think about all of this? And as always, stay spooky, stay weird, and until next time.